everybody good evening welcome back to my channel we are live hello everybody let me have a look who's here i see dimfna patricia Ans, sandra hi sandra hope you're doing well sending you hugs uh wilma rihanna ivor anya belinda hi there joe welton andrea astrid jen carla good evening everybody welcome every welcome 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 i'm going to have some fun tonight <clears throat> sorry um because I wanted to start a new journal where I can sort of play. Well, I'll explain that in another video. But um, I wanted to make another journal. Not that I don't have enough journals, but hey, you can never have enough journals, right? Um, hi, Daphne, Joker, Rosalie. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, so uh, what I did is uh, I had this vintage brown journal uh, and I prepared it by putting gesso all over it. Um, so, yeah, I'm just going to give people a second to come in. But you know what? I'm just going to switch the cameras because, well, this face, you've seen it. So, um, <laughs> sorry, wrong button. <laughs> uh, but anyway, we're here. Hello. Um, here you see my, let me put this one in a safe place. There we go. Ah, me and the buttons, right? Uh, so this is my white journal now. And yeah, I was really being really secure and I thought I'm going to keep the back of my journal clean. That failed. So I will be coloring the, the inside as well. That's for another time. But yeah. Uh, this die, I love that too, the bubble wrap one. This was like this, I tore it in half and then uh, I'm going to put these on there because I want texture on there. So I'm just going to start playing fairly. That's what it is. And uh, I'm just going to, well, we're going to see where it leads us. And if it's a fail, it's a fail. I'll paint over it again and try again. You know, that's what it is. So I've got um, a big bottle of this stuff. Acrylic matte medium. Um, it's what Annette used, and then I saw Els use it. I thought, well, let's give it a go. So I'm going to use that to glue down my elements. So um, this is. Don't laugh at me. Don't laugh at me. It's still new. I haven't used it. I knew that, but I <laughs> thought I opened it up. Oh dear, it's one of those days, guys. It is one of those days. Don't laugh at me. Hi, Sandra. Right, now it doesn't want to open. What's wrong with me today? There we go. It's opening up. Yeah. Come on. There, it's open. Blimey. Uh, well, I've been eating ketchup my whole life, Ons. <laughs> And that happens every time with each new bottle. Right, I'm just going to put some of this stuff on. Don't have a clue. If it's not working, I will get some other glue and glue it down. But mm, I think this is going to work. Put this on here. Sort of like that. Now, I don't want to go too much past the fold. Because then it will come loose, I'm afraid. So, And there's going to be lots of layers of paint over this. But I just want to make sure that it is down on there. So that's the first bit done. Ja, Johan, aan het schrikkelen. I don't know how to say that in, uh, how do you call that? Belinda, maybe you know. In, in the, I'm sure you have it there. It's, it's the, I used to know how it's called. That, that you've got an extra day in February. What's that called? I've got the wrong word in my head. So I'm just going to place these on there and use the texture of that in a second. Ooh, nice, Patricia. I was debating whether to use them. Uh, Olivier, okay. I was debating whether to use them today on this, but then I thought, no, I'm going to put paint on it. So. so there's a nice thick layer of that yumminess on there and I'm just gonna do that here as well because otherwise you might have a different texture 
in the background. And I like texture, but I like to be in charge of the texture. Does that make sense? I'm not going to work with the infusions today, but I am going to use the paints. Um, baby wipe. So, now of course this needs to dry. So, close that. Put this in the water because, well, <laughs> that wouldn't be the first brush I ruin. And the matte tints are fun as well. Look, this is, uh, yesterday I did a live in Dutch using these products and I turned them into pages. Just stuck the two together. I made this one and I made this one. Um, yeah, love how these turned out. So uh, I'm going to be working on that. Fan perfect pages, perfect background pages. So this needs to dry. What this is, is gesso. Um, then I sticked on the die cuts. This is the bubble wrap die. Uh, and I sticked it down with the matte medium. Now, um, this is the not the scary part. <laughs> the scary part is going to come uh, later. Oh yes, Rosalie, I love being uh, messy. been two days in a row playing with paint. Yay! <laughs> this looks like it's stuck on there. It's just not dry yet, but it's stuck on there. That's dry, dry-ish. I think it's dry enough. All well, the next step doesn't have to be perfectly dry. Right, and then the big thinking starts. Um, I ruined this brush, you see. I had this with me at Duoding, uh, and I forgot to clean it, which was one of my good brushes. But never mind. Um, I'm going to try this one see what that effect is. This will give a cool effect though. I will try that in a second. Um, I'm going to give it a, a layer of buff first. Now these are all Seth Epter colors, right? Yes. So I'm just gonna go over that, put on a bit of color. This works. Right. Well, they're stuck on there now. There's going to be another layer of paint over it. Uh, so that would be a miracle. And if it does, well, I just glue it down again. And I've got several that have got die cuts on and they never came off. So I'm just going to put this on. Same on this side. I'm not going to put any die cuts on this side because well, it's the back. And even though, yeah, in the back, people live there. <laughs> yes, these are the uh, fresco finishes from uh, Paper Artsy. And then specifically the colors for by Seth Epter. Um, So, just let me smooth that over a bit. There we go. Right, base layer is on there. Next I'm going to take Rusty, which is a nice rusty color. It is a transparent. Um, so I'm going to start with that on to the base, because, well, I want that texture on there. I want that color on there. And you see it's a transparent because the color of the buff shines through, which is fine. And I'm just going to stipple this on because I want that 
not perfect coverage. And I forgot one thing, which is not bad. I will do that. Because this is going to need many, many layers. So I'm just going to do the same on the back. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect. Just a tiny bit more. Well, it's not really scary, uh, but yeah, this is sticking on the die cuts is the easy part. And then, yeah, seeing how this fig comes together, that's the, that's a bit of the scary part. But then again, it's just, if it doesn't work, I'll put paint over it and we'll be fine. Uh, what I forgot um, is that I want to use some more texture on there and I'm going to, but then I have to dry it. But that's the benefit of those paper artsy paints. They dry really quick. This is a rusty, it's called rusty. It's a gorgeous color. Right, I want to put some texture on there, so I'm going to use my uh, crackle stencil and the grunge paste from Paper Artsy. Funny stuff this is. It's almost like chewing gum, but then a bit thinner. It's, no, I don't know. It's fun. It applies beautiful through a stencil and it dries quickly, which is also nice. Just want a bit more texture on there. Oops, bit of a blob there, which is user error, but it's going to be covered anyway. No, Sandra, these are the chalk paints by Paper Artsy, so they're not regular acrylics. It is, an, uh, it is a acrylic, but it's a chalk paint, and that is uh, why it dries really quickly and really matte, which I love. So, just clean up my mess. Okay, that's clean-ish. Um, that one should go there. Okay, now I'm gonna dry this. But you see, just another bit of texture, and this blob, you won't see it when I'm finished, so. It's because I didn't press it down enough. completely dry. You can heat things on the on the journals when you decorate them. Just keep your heat tool moving. Don't don't burn it in one place because then you will melt. In the end of the day it's not real leather. Uh, I've just got it a couple of days but so far I really like it. Um, yeah. Right, let's move on to patina. Green patina.
I'm just going to pick that up, work it into my brush and just go over the bits where I want it. Again, not perfect, not everywhere. And I want the baby wipe because then I can say, oh, this was a bit much, so I'll take it off here. Take it off, rub it in the texture a bit, like that. Hi, Inge. I mainly want this texture to have that patina color on. And that's working out nicely. Okay. It's a bit messy, but hey. Hmm. Do the same on the back, just in some areas. So, building up layer after layer. Um, I think that's enough patina. He says while he's applying more. Okay. This brush is working nicely. Next, I'm going to take a uh, Tundra, which is an opaque. So I got to be careful not to... No, I'm not going to put textures on the back because, well, it's going to be like that. So... I got to be careful because this is a opaque, which means it's completely going to cover things up. So I'm just slowly going over this. Just building up a bit of layers and then using my baby wipe to clean up my uh, crackle where I have the patina on. And clean it off again. So this is fairly just playing. This is what I love about mixed media. Just have a play. And creating all these different layers. So I'm just going to sort of dry brush on the back to make sure it matches together. So, um, I'm going to try something, why not? I've got white fire here, which is a metallic. Ah, uh, well, better to catch this bug, right? Hi, Asa. Asa. Uh. It's not white, it's blue. <laughs> Light blue, though. Not the smartest thing to wear, I know. Yesterday I had the sense to put an apron on, but yeah. Now, I really don't want a lot of this, so... Mm, but, if worse comes to worse, I'll take a baby wipe and wipe it off, right? Oh, but I do like this. Ooh, yes. You see how it's grabbing onto that texture? 
This is gorgeous. Happy. Come on. Right, this is too much. So, take my baby wipe. There we go. This is called white fire. And I'm just gonna put that on the back of my journal as well, because well, I loved it. Right, now I think it's, it's nice, it's lovely, it's coming together really nicely, uh, but I want to darken up the edge a bit. So, I'm just gonna take a tiny bit of mud splat, clean off my brush, because I don't want that to be There's a lot of paint in my brush, so let me just, you know what, I'll take the other one. Why not? It's there, right? And it's clean now. So, just going to pick up, pick up a tiny bit of color and just start from the edge, coming in. Sort of dry brushing. Well, not sort of. Just to darken that up. You see? Loving it. Just darkening up these edges. There we go. Clean this up. Clean up as I go, right? Well, sort of clean up. Doesn't have to be perfect, but I just want the majority of there. Now, I want to sort of, I want something. <laughs> what do I want? I think I know. I'm going to use my green patina. So I want to brighten it up ever so slightly. Just going over that. For some reason, the metallic paints always resist, which is a good thing. There you go. Love that patina look. Well, you know what, Pam? It, it took me some time. <laughs> I was really scared to do this kind of stuff. Uh, I remember I was in Esther's design team a long time ago already. And uh, we got the, the canvas planner. And we had to make something. <laughs> so, that was... Uh, and actually, that's what got it started. Um, I'm, I am going to just let me see if I can find it. You know what? It's not waterproof, but do I care? No. <laughs> I just want to play with a bit of this in some areas. There we go. I think that should be enough. Absolutely, Diana, that's what it is. Ooh. 
love. Look at that. Look at that. This is what I wanted. Yes, 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 yes. Just let it run wherever I want it. Oh. Do the same on the back. This was just what it needed. So I just want to set this a bit before I let that flow. What I like, it's pulling uh, yeah, in the nooks and crannies. What I just sprinkled on was Infusion's Rusty Car. It's a case, uh, you just have to try and do it. Don't overthink. And these things always are unexpected. Um, and you think, oh, that's nice. Well, at least I think that's nice. And in the end of the day, that's the most important thing, right? But I'm loving this. It would definitely work on this, but I'm going to give it another layer of the acrylic medium, and then it will definitely be waterproof. But you can use the, the glaze. Just used that the other day. Where did I put it? Oh, it's still on my desk. You can use this as well, but I think that's a bit fluffy. Yeah, to get it into all the nuts and crannies and all this texture, I don't want that. So, Ooh. a lot of moisture there. But yes, this is exactly what I hoped it would do. So I'm not going to do m any more to it, except use my um, acrylic medium to cover it all up. So, put a blob on my desk. Just quickly go over that because if I go back and forth too many times I will activate the pigment again don't want that so that's it and that's gonna dry matte so I'm not too worried about that but at least then it will not come off if it's wet and then on the other end how wet does a journal get as Tim Holtz always says don't lick your artwork <laughs> Okay, and we're done with the journal, so that's pretty cool. What do you think? I mean, we went from, from this beautiful journal, don't get me wrong, beautiful, to this. Oh, that's exciting, Pam. So, 
So, now, um, this went quicker than I expected, but I just want to show you what I'm going to put in there. Because one of the things that I'm lately into is playing with watercolor. You've seen me do that on many lives as well, uh, making ADC cards, etc. And that sort of got me inspired that I want a journal where I can make projects and I can stick that in. Linking, no, licking, Femke. <laughs> Thank you, Belinda. That's a good point. Got that right here. There we go. Back in the box. So, shall I do a close up? see all that yummy texture on there because this journal also has texture you still see that through and here on the background you really see the texture of the journal so even if you don't uh, use die cuts it's still got gorgeous texture on there so that's that now the inside <coughs> That's for another day. I'll have to think about what I want to do there. Um, but I need to clean off my hands. You, you will understand why in a minute. I really need to... Well, that could... Well, they don't come in my craft room, but you never know. <laughs> but it's safe now. It's not going anywhere, Johan. Even if uh, they come in. So, right. I think this turned out lovely. Really happy with that. So, oh, come on. This is dry paint that doesn't stain, right? Dry up my hands. Well, that's it. You know what? In the end of the day, if you don't like it, go over it with paint. I think this one, oh no, not this one. This one was scary as well, but it worked. And if it wouldn't have worked, I would just have gone over it again with the, um, with the paint. And I think this one um, it just worked as well. So yeah, there's lots you can do with the journals to make them your own. But I think this one is my favorite yet of the ones that I altered myself. So, well, thank you, Belinda. It was fun to be there. Um, made some fun projects. So what I'm going to do, uh, what I did, I cut out a couple of pages just from watercolor paper, white watercolor paper, uh, with my new die that is in the... Hmm, Label stacks and more, uh, and in there is a die to cut the holes. So I've, I've bounded my signature, and that's going to go in here. And then I can uh, work on just a small matte layer, create my artwork, and just stick that on there and flick it through whenever I want and have a look at what I did. So that's going to be in here, and uh, there's going to be three signatures in there, but I just wanted to make one already. And I've got one, two, three, four, five pages per signature, I think. Yes, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, and I think that's a, going to be enough because there's going to be a matte layer on each page, both sides, so here and here, and then here again and here again. So that will fill it up uh, completely. This is just watercolor paper because um, I'm going to stick matte layers on top of that. So that's going to be in there. Uh, but I'll do that later. For now, just let me stick this one through again. Let's see if I can make that work. No, of course not. Yeah, so it's 200 grams, not really high quality watercolor paper, cheap not the most expensive one as well because I'm not gonna do anything on it that's why I wanted just as a base page I just wanted that on there 
why can't I get a hold of my elastic? There we go. I win. And you know what? The color, it's a perfect match. There you go. Love that. So, need to do something with the elastics because this one is too short, I think. But anyway, there we go. This is how it turned out. So, yeah, I've got some time left. So, I just thought I'm going to work on these. This is also done with the paper artsies and uh, infusions, both sides. I'm going to work on... Exactly, that's what this will be. Um, I'm going to work on this side a bit. And what I want to do is create my own tissue paper. Now, um, let me think. Thinking is hard, you know that. Um, I want my stamps. So I'm just going to use some of the new stamps. To stamp on there. So let's do that. Does this fit? Does this fit? Does it? Does it? Barely, but it's on there. So now I'm, I need to use waterproof ink for that. So I'm going to use my VersaFine. It's really handy. So I'm going to stamp on there. Hi, Stephanie. Oh, I love this stamp. I know I designed it myself, but yeah. Every time I stamp it, I go like, ooh. So I'm just randomly going to stamp that on there. Mm -hmm. Don't think too much, David. Did you see that glasses case with the tissue paper? Oh, Brillekoker. Yes, gotcha. Sorry. <laughs> uh, who did that? Um, Denise, right? Yeah, that, that looked cool. Not perfect. Doesn't have to be. Doesn't have to be. Right, I want my script on there. So let's get that. Because I'm loving this stamp as well. I'm loving my whole, this, this release, I'm having so much fun with it. And I'm so happy I can finally play with it out in the open. Because, well... Now this is uh, Versafine. Versafine Claire. Black ink. It's a permanent ink, so it's not water, uh, it's not water reactive, which I don't want. I don't want it to be water reactive. Um, I want a second generation print though. So, stamp it off and stamp it on there. Oh, love it when a plant comes together. <laughs> So, ink it up again, stamp it off, and just put it on there, there, and there. Oh, third generation does even work. And a fourth one. Love it. 
I just want the texture on there. Okay, that was enough. Don't push it, David. <laughs> Is it, Pam? So you see my face big. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing, though. Uh, I just grabbed the stamp. Where did I? Oh, it's here. It's here. Now, on to this stamp. So I'm just going to play with some stamps on there. Um, don't know where, don't know what exactly, but it stays on this completely different uh, ink. That dries quick, and this is a pigment ink that dries quite slow. So that also means you can emboss with it. Yes. I don't need this much. <laughs> I'm just going to pick and choose in a minute. go and then I will grab this one I want the bigger ones the chunky pluses yeah but you got to be really quick <laughs> Red Bull gives you flugels, eh? so just gonna Put that over the script, just so it gives it a bit more texture there. There. Okay. A little one there. There we go. Cool. It's coming together. There we go. So, that's those, and I think that's enough for what I want to do today. So, now, with this tissue paper, you've got to be aware that you, your ink leaks through. So, or can leak through, doesn't necessarily, but it's really thin, so I want that to be sort of clean. I've made my own tissue paper, which is cool, right? You can buy the stuff, but this is just tissue paper that came as packaging. Why not use that, right? Um, here's my thingy. So I'm going to work on this side. Uh, so I'm just going to rip this. like so it's still way too big but that's fine okay so now I want to give this some color so I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to oh, why not use a bit of rust bit of rust. Now I'm doing this from the back and the reason for that is if I would color this from the front you would cover your black. Not if you use the matte tints um, but I'm not using the matte tints. So I've wet my brush 
and I'm going to thin this out ever so slightly. Where's my brush gone? Nah. My water spray, I mean. Okay. Then we do it like this. And I'm just going to color that. Now you've got to be careful because this tissue paper rips when you uh, wet it. So don't overwork it. Now why am I using this color? Because it's a transparent. I've colored outside of the lines a bit. I don't mind. <laughs> it's because I'm doing it live on TV. That's my excuse. Or not on TV, on YouTube. <laughs> TV was last week. But I will show you from the other side, how cool that looks. You still see the black from the stamping, and on this side the black will disappear a bit, because the paint will cover it up. Even though this is a transparent, it's still going to mute that black down. Ha <laughs> Uh, don't let your husband hear that, Stephanie. So this is really cool to to do. And to stick this down, I will do that in a second, you can use collage medium from Distress, you can use the paper Artsy Matte, or any of the glazes actually, any of the finishes, top coats, whatever they are called, um, you can use, but I've got the that matte medium on my desk, so I will use that. So, busy weekend ahead again. Tomorrow is going to be a day of prepping because I'm doing a demo in uh, uh, Klarenbeek. So it's busy, 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 but fun. It's going to be a fun demo. There we go. See how cool that looks? So, clean off my brush, and then I will quickly give this a blast with my heat tool. Oh, that, I know what you mean, the man flu. The paint I'm using, Pam, is a uh, Paper Artsy Fresco Finish. And these are from the Seth Epta line. So, here you see, you've lost all the black detail. But then if you turn it around, you still see it. And I love that. So, um, I'll just spritz this. I was looking for my water bottle. It was right in front of me. Can you believe that? Well, probably yes, you can. Yeah, the black corners. Th this one has been in the dishwasher and it's perfectly safe. Tim Holtz said it himself during one of his long lives. Okay, splatter a bit on there because I can. To bring in the color in the rest. Okay. Now the rusty can go. So yeah, it should be able to uh, put it in the dishwasher. Washer. And it came out nice and white again, so it worked.
No, they don't. It stains, uh, but it's it's great matte. You can just rub your paint off, and yeah, I love that. Right, this is dry now. So next, I'm going to see. Okay, I don't like this straight edge, so I'm going to take my brush, and I'm going to just go along there, wetting that paper. And then it just rips there. And I love that effect. You see? Cool, right? Again, that's also the downside of it. That it's ripping, ripping quite quickly. And I want to do a bit of tearing on this side. Like so. There we go. Okay. Now, I'm going to put on some of this yumminess. This is that matte medium. Again, it doesn't look matte when you put it on, but it is. Trust me, it is. And then I'm going to put this on, like so. Dab it on. Just work that flat. Now don't overwork it. But what is really cool is that the tissue paper sort of disappears. Now there's the wrinkles in there, I don't mind. I've got wrinkles, so you don't dispose of me because of that. It's just because of this, yeah, fragile paper, you don't overwork it. This background is also made with the paper artsy stuff. Um, cool technique. I will do lives with this in the future and show you how I made this. But I had these laying around and I thought, well, I better use them. I mean, you probably know that you have backgrounds laying all over the place. You never use them. Well, I didn't want to wanted that to happen. There you go. There wasn't enough of that stuff underneath, so... But you see how that tissue just disappears into the background. And I love that. I'm just gonna rip this off. See that? Just loving that. Put this in water. The metallic probably will disappear, but I don't mind. Look at that. And then I hear people say, yeah, but you can stamp onto your background. Yes, you can, and that's a different technique, but I love this. This really gives it a vintage, old, grungy, yummy look. So, um, just let me think. Got a piece of this here, and I might just, yeah, I like that. So, a bit of this, I'm going to clean that up. I'm going to rip this. 
That's what I love about this bubble wrap thingy. Uh, yeah, you can rip it off and you have great texture on your paste page. Loving scorched timber. I just think this is a fantastic color. That's going to live on there because I like it. I'll do a similar video in English uh, one of these days, guys. I promise. I really do. Uh, what else do I have? Love that. Love that. Did I miss a question? Ah, yeah, that's uh, Liquitex. The big bottle, right? The big bottle, this one, is Liquitex acrylic medium. And the smaller bottles are the acrylic uh, fresco finishes. Just cutting this. I really love it. It's really dark, but I love it for these kind of things. It really... There we go. And I'm going to use what's left on my dauber. You see, it really instantly gives it... Uh, the vintage look, and I also use it a lot in, in uh, together with Fred Burlap. So this is going to be like that. You know what? Not because I have to, but because I can. Oh, there was nothing to hold on to it. There we go. If you use a stapler, make sure it's got something to grab a hold on. There you go. That's going to go on there. Well, in the end of the day, you can see what I do, and I think that is explanatory enough. I ramble on a lot, but don't take anything too serious what I say. <laughs> um, but yeah. So that's going to be there. And again, it's texture. I just love that. I'm in my grungy mood. You can see that, right? I know, Marianne, living on the edge. And it's still clean. Is it? Yes, it's still clean. I'm a brave, brave man. But now I'm going to splatter. And that is never a good thing. I'm going to splatter using some of that metallic paint. Water that down. Now, scrap piece of paper because this side, and I'll show you why I don't want anything on. Absolutely, but the color names are the same in Dutch or in because I always use the original names. Just splatter a bit on there. There we go. Yeah, I'm in my grunge phase, I think, because I'm... It's still not on me. Ha! Oh, dear. Yeah, I, I, I'm doing a lot of grungy grungy stuff at the moment. Right, so I'm just going to do it like this. I will explain to you when this is dry. Because this is a journal where it's going in, which looks very plain next to this one now, but okay. 
<laughs> That's going to go into this journal. And that's going to be the third sheet of this signature, like that. And that means that it's not next to this one. So I'm going to recreate that um, yumminess. I think I had a different plan, come to think of it. No, no, I'm doing it right. I'm doing it right. I'm missing something. Bear with me. What did I do? Or did I change my plan again? Which is very, very easy to do with me. I love this. This is what I made in... No, I'm sort of, I'm missing some bits. But anyway, not important at all. Uh, the most important thing is we made it. Um, So we made this cool journal, look at that, and we made a page. So yeah, I hope you liked it. If you did, give this video a thumbs up and consider to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so yet, uh, but lots of you have. So that was it for today. I'll be back next week. Uh, yeah, nothing weird coming up. So next week I'll be back and uh, love to see you all then. And I will be posting a video on Tuesday probably if I have time over the weekend to record it. Never mind, we'll see. Thank you for joining me and have a fantastic evening. Bye.